guys, today is the first ever Time Attack Cars and Coffee vlog. We're gonna be headed to two car shows. So the first one we're going to is up in Troon. It's just a little bit more of a smaller show. It should be fun though. You know, there's always gonna be some rare cars that end up showing up to this show. I'm really excited to get out there because last time I was up there, there was a McLaren F1. It's early this morning. It is also 46 degrees out. To anyone that ever says Arizona does not get cold, it does! Back here on this GTC Ford Lusa. Ooh, look at this Shelby. Wow. Oh my gosh. Some serious wheels. Honestly, the GT350 has to be one of my favorite Mustangs of all time. Just, it, it's so simple yet subtle. And I, I think they really just nailed the design on this car, especially with the front end. A whole host of GT350s here. Absolutely beautiful cars. This is my favorite spec. Wow, that yellow. And of course, the daddy Mac of all, GT500. GT500 or GT350? What do you guys say? Leave it in the comments. Beautiful Speciale here. Speciale was the final edition of the 458 before it ceased production. I think it's one of the last great Ferraris. Only I'm not a big fan of the 488, I'm not a big fan of the F8 Tributo. The 458 Speciale was, it's truly just a beautiful car. Is that DDE Dave? Super Trofeo Stradale is pretty much the hardcore race version of the Lamborghini Gallardo. And this car, it's, one say carbon fiber diffuser. Very rare sight. Diablo SV. I don't think I've ever seen a Diablo in this color, much less an SV. Diablo SV or Super Trofeo? Look at how crazy that rear bumper design is. It's just floating. Oh, is that a... Wow! This car has all the carbon options. Look at that full carbon wheel on that thing. Check out the interior. Wow! Carbon racing buckets. Look at that. 4GT is one of the only cars where you cannot actually move the seat, but you can move the pedal box. The best way to do this is back up to it. Okay. And uh, I'll, I'll hand you your phone once you're in. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I seem to have found myself in a brand new 4GT. This is what it looks like to be sitting in a 4GT. Check out all this dry carbon. It absolutely just gorgeous. And this amazing carbon on the steering wheel. Look at this carbon all the way back. It almost has a floating dash in the rear. And then I've never noticed these air vents that are kind of just floating. Over here you can see GT number 34. A little bit of screen and then, wow, that pedal box is, it, it's literally a full carbon pedal box. And you can see the entire carbon fiber monocoque down there. Right here, this has to be just one of my all-time favorite cars. 97.2911 Turbo S. This thing is running on some fat rims. Little MP412C rolling into the show. Good to see it. Down the Autobahn right now, or is this just Audi heaven? Oh, got ourselves an all-road. Some RS7. Ooh, this thing's got the V10. That's sick. S6 supercharged. Dang. The Audi headrest in there. Crap, look at the stretch on the tire. Ooh, AMG SLS Gullwing. Yes, please. I don't think anyone realizes just how long 
these hoods are. Actually, because the engine is nearly mid-mounted in these cars. The engine sits behind the front axles. That's why this front end and this nose is just so massive. It has the 6.2 liter V8. It was synonymous for badging the cars with 6.3, just to match the C63 idea. But in all honesty, they haven't made a C63 with an actual 6.3 liter engine in 10, 20 years. Ourselves a hell of a crowd coming over here. I think I know why. <laughs> Ourselves an entire little museum in here. This 355 convertible, 355 coupe, 308, fastback. This is such a cool place. Look at this. Wow. The last time I was here, this wasn't open, so I was never able to come in here. Carrera 4 GTS. It's tucked in up there. Back out here at the show. This is a roof boxster. Yeah, it's got the old GT3 seats in it. Red seat belts. I don't know about that, but. Yeah, look at that. There's a roof right there. I cannot tell what this is though. No idea. It's got the front end of like a Shelby. Oh, here we go. It is a 1961 to 1965 APAL Porsche. Huh. That's cool. I wonder if this was kind of like a custom Coachworks car that you know, maybe a one-off build or something like that. I like the wide five wheels it has on it. The color is pretty amazing. You know, it looks a lot like someone were to merge a Porsche 356 coupe with a Daytona. It's kind of neat. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to head down to Old Town Scottsdale to the 4 till 4 show. Hopefully see we can see some other stuff down there. It's been a cool show though. now coming up on the 4 till 4 coffee show today's theme is uh jdm and european this should be pretty cool last time i was here we had old r34s we had an r33 uh, a lot of e30 m3s there's an m3 dtm we are here at 4 till 4 off we have this amazing e30 m3 look at how clean and straight that paintwork is and the interior looks like it just rolled out of the factory wow Quick spot here with the 991.2 GT2 RS. Mm -hmm. Looks like we have ourselves a Lamborghini SVJ exhaust in there, full titanium. Wow. Of course, this car features the a la air management system. You see, this car has the full carbon fiber door cards on the top. And then it features the classic Aventador interior, of course, definitely upgraded. It features a staggering amount of dry carbon. I wasn't sure if that was an option on here. Oh wait, missing a screw in the wing. F in the chat. Those kids couldn't have been older than like 16. They're driving a probably close to 600 horsepower supercar. Our little 1M back here. You know, you really don't see a lot of these cars out in the wild anymore. Just look at the size of the ball. <gasps> Sounds like we got ourselves a 720S getting pretty feisty out there. There he goes. Wouldn't be surprised if he does a absolutely massive pull. That is the, and that has to be the loudest one I think I've ever heard. Most likely decatted down pipes. He's probably just running straight. Damn. Did you hear that? Nice little setup we got back here. A little Hellcat red eye I'm guessing just because it's got the twin scoops. Actually you know what? Oh it is a red eye. Yeah check that out. Like a little emerald and a little ruby. Nice little C4S in here and then back there got ourselves an m2 coming up here we have an absolutely amazing 
Gen 1.2 Audi R8. It's like it's bagged. Ooh, I think we're gonna get ourselves a start up here. That sounds great. I think we're gonna get ourselves a start up here quick on the McLaren Senna. This car is just absolutely nutty. first vlog be sure to like and subscribe share if you can and thank you guys so much for the support can't wait to see you soon